The only way you come back to know your true identity is through forgiveness, which is the salvaging of the mind, remembering your true essence as divine mind, and it's only accomplished through peace. What that does is it says, look around you at the projected time-space world, and you may turn on the news, and you may have friends that, you know, save the animals, save the rainforest, save the, the river and the drinking water up in North Dakota, save the planet, save Mother Earth from pollution, uh, save the world from uh, nuclear proliferation and and war, you know, we have, we see a world, we perceive a world where there's all this constant talk about saving some, something. We have certain people are supposed to be saved, certain souls are supposed to be saved, Mother Earth should be saved, save the, the atmosphere, save the ozone layer, you know. And everything that's talked about saving, Jesus is saying in the Course, well, we can simplify that, it's your mind that believes in separation. Your mind that believes that it's separated from its Creator, that's what needs to be saved. He's like saying, let's make this real clear. That's the one thing that needs to be saved, is your mind that believes in separation. Your mind that's sleeping and dreaming of exile from God, that needs salvation. And nothing else needs salvation. Everything that you put all this effort into, in terms of of the planet, the atmosphere, and, and all the causes, small cause C, the, the sea, all that is still part of the distraction away from going inside and, and that beautiful teaching, be still and know that I am God. All of those causes, I'll put in quotes, are all a distraction to that. So it's a very simple direct teaching that basically not only does Jesus say that the mind that believes in separation needs salvation, but he is also saying that it's already been accomplished. A lot of us were raised with the idea of grace. You know, not through works do we receive salvation, but through the grace of God. Grace has already been accomplished. And that's where it gets simpler and simpler. The more you give yourself over to this thought system, this healing, you start to realize, all I'm really doing is accepting what is rightfully my inheritance. My, my creation, my sense of, of the natural state of mind that I was created in by God. That's all I'm doing. That's all this seeming journey is about, is coming to that acceptance. He calls it accept the atonement, but really coming back into that grace.